peace and high frequencies everybody i hope everybody is well 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 i'm going to tap into the dream last night and share that with you on my car chronicles as i travel um along the bumps of the road the potholes in memphis Tennessee. <laughs> and you're gonna travel with me uh but yeah um the dream last night i'm getting ready to go into that but i did post on my community tab about lebron james y'all lebron james last night and y'all know i'm not a sports person at all if you don't know now you know but um something that really stuck out to me was that 38 he's 38 years old last night the first thing that they posted that he has scored in his career 38,388 points. Now they've changed it this morning to 38,390. You may have to see 38,390 on other stats. But last night, it was 38 points that he scored in the game last night. And his top, his record that beat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was 38,388. All right, he scored 38 points. He's 38 years old, and his record is 38,388. So I'm looking at all these synchronicities, and I was like, you know, can y'all feel me in on what you feeling when you see all them 38s, 38s, 38, 38, 38, all right? Because I'm seeing 11, 11, 11, 38. You know, I'm, I'm seeing synchronicity. And, you know, they call him the king. Or whatever so you know he the king of the league he's the messiah 38 but anyway i'm just that was my little thing it just I, you know i like throwing up numbers even though i'm not like a numerologist or whatever you call it or astrologist or really into knowing what numbers me per se every time you see one i just go inside and i ask spirit to guide me if i really want to know what it means but um for sure we all know that numbers are vibrations right so sometimes i see numbers and i see letters sometimes i see a three and i see an e and then i also you know numbers are vibrations if numbers are vibrations they're also sound and they're also you know frequencies so that I know all of that means something. But um, going into my dream last night, well, it wasn't even last night, my dream this morning. I had a dream last night. I'm not going to share, not particularly one makes sense to y'all, but it makes sense to me. But I woke up this morning and got back into the bed, went back to sleep. And it was interesting. I was at my house and it was two ladies. It was two ladies. I remember these two ladies with these sundresses on. And they said that we're getting ready to start a, a, our podcast, our TV show. And our TV show is going to be dedicated to those individuals who haven't been heard. We're going to make sure that they be, they're able to get on this platform. Those individuals who have been through a lot of things, that have been incarcerated, that have been victims. We're, we have this platform for them. So I'm looking at them from a third eye view, like remote viewing. I see them going to the living room and I'm following them and I have my significant other with me and we're watching this and it's kind of like he was around me as protection but he really wasn't knowing what was going on. So the ladies go into the living room, I remember they had on sundresses and then one lady changed, it's just like a snap of a finger, she just had on a wrap. It's like she wrapped and just tied it in the front. And then she had this other piece of material and she was waving it on the side. And she started speaking in another language. And from what I'm feeling, it's like Yoruba. It was like an African language or something, y'all. Um, and I'll get Yoruba or different languages in my dreams sometimes. I dream in other languages sometimes too. Um, so she started speaking in another language. Um, and then the other lady came around and she took some alcohol or whatever. I don't know what she was drinking. And then she said, you know how you do on your altar, right? <laughs> it's 
Hey y'all, so she's, you know, spitting, I guess, out to the ancestors or cleansing the space. You know, I know they do that when they're cleansing the space and ushering and invoking the energy. Um, so she was doing that and the other one was speaking and it was two lights. One of them was speaking in a, a, another language while she was fanning this material and the other one started cleaning the space. And I was like, what is going on? So I remember my significant other telling me and he was saying, do you want them here? Is this okay? Or do you want me to put them out? And I was like, no, they can stay. I want to continue to see what they was going to do because I didn't feel like it was any harm. Uh, but they was like doing, they went from that space and then they was in the living room. Then the dream takes me from there to Louisiana, y'all. <laughs> and so it becomes a bit fuzzy, but I do remember... I do remember uh, being in Louisiana, and it was like backwoods Louisiana. It wasn't like New Orleans, Louisiana. This was kind of like backwoods Louisiana, a uh, city that you probably would never want to stop in because it wasn't anything there. And we were at this, like, kind of like a diner, something like you think of like a Waffle House, or if you all old enough to remember Mel's Diner with Alice and everything. It was something that was just like that. And so we was there and we was there having to play some type of trivia game. And we had somebody else that was with us. Felt like it was like a cousin, neighbor, a, a family member or something. And he was like, I'm tired of this. I'm ready to go. I don't want to be here. This boring. I'm ready to go. Blah, 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 blah. And I told him, I was like, you need to find the joy in just being here on these travels. Because what you want to go home to, what we're going to do when we get home. Like, enjoy just being somewhere different in the travels. So, yeah, y'all, that was the dream. <laughs> That's all I can remember. And then, of course, like I said, the other part of the dream, it ain't even worth sharing a lot of it. But um, I wanted to share... I definitely wanted to share the part of the two ladies speaking in an African language, which I'm, my spirit is saying Yoruba, so I'm just going to go with Yoruba because I don't really know what language it was because I don't speak it here in this realm, but obviously for my mind or my conscious mind to be able to pull that and speak it in my dream. It's definitely encoded in my DNA. This we know. I've had several dreams with uh, Yoruba languages that I've had decoded from a Babalao that told me what the words that I repeated to him that were said in my dreams, what it actually meant. So I know it happens to me. And I know that I have 42% Nigerian, so they say, you know, <laughs> so they say from the, um, uh, I did the DNA, you know, shit, but, you know, I really just like to go tap in because I always feel like everything out here is an agenda shit. It ain't nothing safe. Um, but, yeah, I was definitely wanting to check in with that. I thought it was interesting to have those priest, priestesses come into my home, speak Yoruba, and cleanse my space, invoke energy and speaking to the ones who have been downtrodden who this world has kicked to the side who um who haven't been raised up and it felt like in the dream as i'm talking about it that really what is going on is that um which i said it before that and that was just a clarification within the dream is that we're getting ready to step into a space where all of us who have uh, been through just, you know, trials within our lives, you know, those who people kind of cast to the side or cast away and they never think that they were going to amount to anything. You know, I kind of think about Biggie when he said, when his teacher said he wouldn't amount to anything and told him that, you know, it's kind of that scenario is happening. We rising up. We showing them that, yeah, you know, it's our time. It's our time. And there we're cleansing the space, opening the way. So, y'all. I just love classical music. So beautiful. Um, but yeah, 
guess that's what I wanted to share uh, was that dream of those priestesses cleansing the space, coming in and ushering us into this new realm of things that are going our way. All right? It's our time. It's our way. It's our time. It's time for us to have our way. Because guess what? When we have our way, we are not going to neglect or be, you know, braggadocious or egotistical or even, you know, talk bad to those who did us wrong. We're just going to walk into our destiny. There's no need to call out. You know, we are above that. We just ones that walk into our destiny with a heart of love, a smile on our face, knowing that it is our time. And that's just what it is. Period. <laughs> Period. And so, yeah, I wanted to share that that they came in with that message from the high priestesses speaking in Europe. A high priestesses and that's coming to me. That's what I'm going to name that. The high priestesses speaking in Yoruba. Had vibrant colors, y'all. Dresses were yellow, green, um, blue, and white. These are the colors that I'm re remembering of the dresses they had on and the fabrics. All right? So, yeah. Colors of, you know, uh, Oshun, Yemoya, Mami Watas. You know, those colors. Ursley Freda, you know, those loving energies, those mother nurturing energies, those high priestesses energies that dwell within us. We the high priestesses, y'all. But uh, that's what came through. That's what came through for you, girl. And because it came through me, <laughs> because it came through me, y'all, it came through you. And I'm sharing this to whomever watches this because it's not just a message for me it's a message for me to share because I'm a dream oracle right and um, yeah sometimes the dreams are just for me and my family and my situations but I get to get a lot of dreams that are for everybody else so I take my dreams as divination um, and that's why I like I share it um, I don't have to take him you know I used to use a lot to do a lot of I Ching and do a lot of uh, meta nature and I was trying to do some of the tarot cards but um, as I'm maturing in my spiritual walk and evolving I'm knowing now that my dreams are my Oracle that's the divine forces way of connecting and teaching me and giving me information for it for myself but also to share with others so of course you all there's the message that is your divine report for 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 2023 and beyond i ain't gonna say just for today baby this message is for beyond beyond all right and as always i leave you in peace and high frequencies